Good afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Drive-In with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and I would have recorded this video this morning had I not been at the dentist uh, getting my mouth numbed up and feeling as though if I talked for too long, I would bite my tongue off. <laughs> so uh, I'm here now at about 12.30 after the Mets completed their sweep last night of the Philadelphia Phillies, continuing their ownership of uh, the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. Uh, it's been fun to watch these last three games. And last night, although uh, a little bit of a nail biter because of one particular relief pitcher, it was still a win. And sometimes that's all that matters. So the Mets were able to uh, earn a 5-4 victory last night. Uh, Zach Wheeler gets his first Major League victory uh, since 2014. That's amazing. Good for Zach. Um, as I noted uh, in my pregame video yesterday, I thought that Zach was going to have a, a, a better uh, uh, chance in his second time, uh, second time on the mound if only because he wasn't facing as powerful an offensive team. I, I think, and I've said a f few times now, I think the Marlins have one of the more underrated offenses in all of baseball. And um, last night, Wheeler seemed to be in much better command of the game uh, against the Phillies. Uh, he wasn't nibbling as much. He threw strikes. He threw the ball very hard. Uh, and despite perhaps being left in maybe one batter too long, uh, he would have been um, would have, would have gotten out of the game with barely a blemish. Um, he would have really lowered his ERA. But Terry, one of his faults, and I'm a big Terry supporter, uh, but I can still point out the fact that I think he always waits one batter too long to uh, to pull a pitcher, whether it be a, a starter or a reliever. Not all the time. I shouldn't say always, but but. Sometimes he does, and when it happens, it's really glaring. And last night, it was pretty glaring. Um, uh, you know, you can argue that Wheeler should not have thrown that walk um, to the odious one, Odubel Herrera, but uh, he did. And um, Terry yanked, uh, yanked Wheeler and brought in Hansel Robles. And I've I've tried to be a Hansel guy. I I. I like the uh, I like the Owen Wilson Hansel meme from Zoolander, um, which is fun on Twitter. But this guy has proven time and time again that he is not a pitcher; he is a thrower. He's facing a fastball hitter with tremendous power. He is a fastball pitcher. His first pitch, his first pitch, is a fastball right down the middle of the plate. You know that the guy's looking for a fastball. You know that you can throw something other than a fastball. And there's the problem. I just don't feel like Hansel Robles is thinking out there. I think he's just throwing the ball as hard as he can. And he seems to be the type that is a little bit hard-headed and that won't ever become a pitcher. Uh, I would so much rather have seen a more polished pitcher come in in that situation. Um, but... It, it was what it was. Um, Robles, unfortunately, only gets charged with one of those runs. It's one of those weird baseball stats that uh, that sucks, and it really sucks that Wheeler ended up giving three additional, giving up three additional earned runs there. Um, that really sucked. But uh, at the end of the day, the uh, the rest of the relievers were able to uh, s simmer down any chance of a Phillies rally. Uh, the combo of Blevins, Salas, and uh, our closer, Addison Reed, uh, did a very nice job. On the offensive side of the ball, uh, Michael Conforto had a great game leading off. Uh, Howie and uh, Josh were talking last night on the radio about um, the three-run game that he had. Uh, Conforto scored three times last night. Uh, Drew Walk had a single, had, uh, had a, just a really good game. And uh, they were making jokes about leadoff hitters like Andres Torres and Angel Pagan. Um, Michael Conforto is not a leadoff hitter. He won't be a leadoff hitter. But um, it, it was nice to see him 
get some playing time and make the most of it. Um, so everyone else looked pretty good as well as Drupal Cabrera continues to be a consistent force in the lineup. He's slowly becoming one of my favorite Mets. Uh, I really like him. I, I love the way he plays the game and he's fun to watch. Um, so that's really all to talk about for, uh, for last night. Again, big W, happy to see the win. Uh, tonight, the Mets head to uh, Miami to face off with the Marlins. Uh, Robert Zellman is on the mound, and we're all hoping that he can do in his second start what Zach Wheeler did in his. So uh, until tomorrow after the Mets hopefully earn their fourth consecutive win tonight, uh, I'll look forward to talking with you then. Check me out on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And until we talk tomorrow, as always, let's go Mets.